Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. Today we are going to have a look at how you can prepare for GTA updates and how you can revert your GTA to the previous version if it has updated. So this video is going to be part of a playlist called Learn GTA 5 Morning Albert's Way. If you haven't checked out the previous episodes of that yet, make sure to check that out right now. A card should be in the top right uh, for your convenience. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So before you update your game, it is very important that you use Rage Plugin Hook to create a backup of your current game version. So my game version is currently, if we right click this and go to properties and then details, you can see that my game version is 1.0.1011.1 and I am running on Rage Plugin Hook 0.51. So at the moment there is an update available for GTA 5 and Rage Plugin Hook, so we are going to have a look at how we can prepare for those updates and then revert back to our current update once it does update. So what we're going to do is we're going to launch rageplugin.exe and once that launches we are going to be going over to the splash screen and we're going to hit the settings icon and we're going to be taken over to the rageplugin settings. Now make sure you do this before you update your game. You can see 1.011 and 0.51 are the current version I'm on. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to game settings and then we are going to go over to backup game version. You can backup critical game files to allow you to revert to a previous game version if the game is updated to a version that is not currently supported by Rage Plugin Hook. So you might have already done this uh, when you installed Rage Plugin Hook itself because it comes up with a box, uh, but just make sure you have done this. I have currently not done this, uh, so I'm going to click backup current game version and that's going to do it for me. As you can see, it's going to save the backup and that is all going to be good. And once that does finish, uh, we can see that when we go to revert game version, our current version of GTA 1.011.1 is currently in this list. So if it's in this list and it says active here, then you know that you have successfully created a backup of your current version of GTA. Now once you've done that, you're pretty much all ready to go. So we are going to go and click the exit button and we are going to update our GTA 5. Now this might differ a little bit for Steam, if your GTA 5 doesn't want to update for Steam, you might want to go to your Steam, go to GTA 5 and then right click properties and verify the game files and then it'll automatically update. Now because I'm on the retail version, I can just launch playgta5.exe just like that and it's going to start the updating process uh, through this launcher itself. So as you can see you're going to be signed in and then you're going to be taken to uh, the loading and this is pretty much the screen where it's going to start the update if there is one available. As you can see it's going to be downloading the update. It's probably going to take a while depending on your internet connection. So I'm just going to wait for this to update and then I'm going to be cutting over to you once that finishes. And as you can see once it has finished it'll say Grand Theft Auto 5 is ready to play. We are going to not click play, we're going to hit cancel. And now we're going to have a look at our current game version. As you can see our current game version is going to be 1.0.1032.1. So we are currently on the latest game version and what we want to do right now is we want to revert back to the game version that we were on before. So to do this we can quite simply now launch rageblogger.exe and once the splash screen comes up you'll get a question if you want to back up the current game version because obviously we are now on a different version of GTA that is newer so I recommend simply hitting yes just so you have that backed up just in case. You can see it's going to be saving the backup of 1.0.1032.1 and once that is done it's going to come up with a message the current game version is not supported. Uh, Rageplugger has detected that supported game version 1.0.1011 is in the backup cache. Do you wish to revert to this game version? And then you're going to hit yes. So you can see it's going to read the backup in that we created previously before we updated our thing and then it's going to be extracting it all from the backup. And as you can see right now, our game is 1.0.1011.1 and we are on Rageblogger 0.51. Now if for whatever reason you didn't get any of those screens, you can also simply hit the settings icon on the splash screen as we did before and then go to game settings, revert game version. And as you can see then over here you can select which game version a backup you want to use. So if I would want to now update to 1.0.1032.1, I simply hit the upgrade button up over here and it's going to read in my backup and it's going to do all that. It's going to update my game back to that version and if I then want to revert back to my old game version I can simply hit the revert button there and it's going to do the same. It's going to read the backup and extract everything and it's going to put that all back in my GTA 5 folder. And once that is all done you can hit the exit button. 
Now sometimes the built-in reverting of Rage Plugin does not want to work with the game backups.rageplugin.org so I'm going to look at how we can revert the backup manually right now. As we can now see we are now on the unsupported game version of GTA. So we are going to just sell that for now, we're going to hit the exit button and I'm going to show you how you can manually restore the game backups that Rageplugin.org creates. So for this you're going to, you are going to need WinRAR. Uh, you should already have that installed from my previous videos, but if not, a link is going to be in the description. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit game backups.rageplugin.org, and as you can see, we've got uh, files in here. So what we can quite simply do is we can look for the game version we want, which right now is 1.0.100.1, .1, and we can double click that, and as you can see, that is going to now be extracted, and you can see that, that now it pops up in WinRAR right up over here. So what you can now do is you can select all these files by holding the control key on your keyboard like that. So that's going to be update.rpf, gta5launcher.exe and gta5.exe. And what you quite simply do is you hold and you drag them into your GTA folder just like that. And once it asks you if you want to replace the files in the destination, you click yes, replace the files in the destination. And uh, once that has happened, your game will also be... Uh, on the version of which you selected, which is currently 1.0.100.1 up over there. And if we now look at our current version of GTA5.exe, we will see that is going to be version 1.0.1011.1. And if we now go back into the Rage Blown Hook settings uh, window, we can go back to game settings and then we will be able to see that we have currently uh, successfully managed to revert manually to version 1.0.1011.1. As you can see, that is also the version of GTA you are on. So if this screen doesn't work for you, you can always open game backups or RPH with WinRAR and you can select which game version you want and restore it manually. Now what's going to happen if we now launch rageblungno.exe and GTA is GTA is going to try updating itself back to 1.0.1032.1 because we are on the retail version. The Steam version might not do this because it uses its own update system, but on the retail version definitely does. So we are going to have to create a rule in our firewall that blocks the GTA 5 a launcher connection. So how we can do that is we can simply right click on the start button and we can go over to control panel and then we can go over to Windows firewall and we go over to advanced settings and we go over to outbound rules. Now what we want to do over in outbound rules is right click that and select new rule and then we're going to select program in this uh, wizard and to hit next and then we're going to have to select the program path. So we're going to hit the browse button and then go over to our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. And once you're in your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory, you are going to select the GTA 5 launcher.exe uh, program. So make sure you select this one and not any of the other ones. GTA 5 launcher.exe is the one you want. And once you've selected that, you can hit next. And we're going to select block the connection and apply that to all of these. And we're going to call it something like GTA 5 launcher block uh, as a name. And we're going to hit finish. And if we then go back into our outbound rules, we'll see that GTA 5 launcher block is now included in the Windows firewall outbound rules uh, blocking rules. So once that's done, you can quite simply hit the X button and you can close this all as well. And now when you launch rageplugin.exe, uh, you won't get the GTA 5 updates anymore. Uh, you're going to have to hit offline mode in the launcher. So we'll see how that works right now. We'll hit load rageplugin.exe and it's going to load up our game. And once it all does load up, I'm just going to have to wait for it to load up. Don't click anywhere. And you'll see that you'll get the launcher asking if you want to go into offline mode or retry. Now, obviously, we are blocking the connection ourselves. So we're going to hit offline mode and it's going to launch your game and it's going to all start up. And as you can see, Rageplunk 0.51 is now loading with our restore backup successfully and uh, will be put into the game world very, very soon after it loads plugin LSPD first response. So to check that you are really on Rageplunganug 0.51, you can go over to the very top of the uh, log and you can see Rageplunganug 0.51 over on game version 1.0.1011.1. Now when you've loaded Rageplunganug and GTA 5 quite often in offline mode, the GTA 5 launcher might require you to have an internet connection to be able to launch it once again. Uh, that is due to security measures. So what you should do then is you should go back into your Windows firewall via the control panel Windows Firewall, and then Advanced Settings, and Bound Rules. And what you do is you simply disable this rule. And once that rule is disabled, you should go back into your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory and launch rageplunganook.exe. And what is going to happen now is GTA 5 launcher.exe is going to try and push an update. So we are going to quickly check how we can stop that update from happening at all. 
So right now it's going to launch the game and the launch is probably going to tell us that there is an update that is currently available because we are no longer blocking it in the firewall. And as you can see the GTA 5 launcher is going to uh, start up and it's shortly going to say that there is an update available and there's going to be a progress bar. So once that does appear make sure to hit cancel immediately so it doesn't get the chance to download the update and then close raceplugnode.exe. And what that now means is that it has verified that we do actually have an account and that we all we are all legitimate. So what we can now do is we can go back into our firewall, right click GTA 5 launcher block and enable the rule again. And then we can just continue playing on our old version of GTA without any problems. So you can quite simply launch rageplugnode.exe once again. And it's going to launch. And what we're then going to do is we're going to quite simply hit offline mode again. And then it's going to launch our game. So that concludes the episode on how to prepare for GTA updates and how to revert to an old version of GTA with Rage Plugnook. I do hope this helped you out. If it did, please remember to hit the like button. And if you haven't done so yet, please remember to subscribe and check out the previous videos in the Learn GTA 5 Modding Albert's Way playlist where I cover lots of in-depth uh, tips and tricks on GTA 5 modding and installation tutorials. So thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.